BJP Congress. Dr. Sambit Patra, spokesperson of the Delhi BJP. Fahad Alim, lead of the CPM. Ravi Vishweshwarya Prasad, telecom expert. And news exit Jahangir Pocha here in the studio with us. Hilal Nakvi, first of all, you know, it's very strange. The 2G auction has failed. The government has lost major revenue. And the Congress party appears to be gloating about it. Jujar, it is not like that. The, the stance of the opposition is that heads I win, tails you lose. It I'll just give you 10 seconds. The opposition is saying you're blaming the CAG, you're blaming the TRAI, you're blaming even the Supreme Court. You think all of them are wrong. And the Congress is the possessor of all wisdom. We are, we are not blaming anyone. The sufferer is the country. Them five seconds By ago. making all the the sufferer the sufferer is the country. The revenue of the country has lost just because of hey, this, is, this is the time hey, when yeah. opposition Hilal, opposition Hilal should the apologize to, all the to the whole country. Said, yeah. He has to listen to it first. Hilal yeah. said that uh, sufferer is the country. My question is. Who has brought suffering to the country? It is their party. And secondly, he was saying that how are the investors going to believe in the government right with the lack of, I mean, paralysis of uh, policy and with the lack of governance? Naturally, the investors are not going to you believe have in the state of the You have learned few lines. That's what he meant to say. That there is a paralysis of, the of policy and, and there is lack of governance. Thing. That's the, the reason as to why the, the investors did not. And it is not because Hilal, of the Hilal, I was not interrupting you. Irresponsible opposition. Hilal, I was not interrupting you. Please allow me some space. No, I have not come. Myself. Oh, uh, I have myself. I have not completed myself, uh, Dr. Patra. Please complete. I have said, no, I have said that it is the irresponsibility of the opposition due to which this thing has come to the country. It is not the government which has lost. It is the face of the opposition which has lost. Mr. It Mr. is the Hilal, credibility the of, of the, the sound is not going to change the course which has lost. of the debate. Mr. Halal, it is not that the opposition is trying to prove anything wrong. It is the Supreme Court, it is the CAG, it is the TRAI, the constitutional bodies of the country, which in fact holds the democracy of this nation, which is pointing the finger towards you. Oh, and hold on. Uh, let's just get in Fahad Alim from the CPM also into the debate. Mr. Alim, <laughs> Kapil Sibyl, the telecom minister, also said today that policy is best left to the government to decide. They, I just, uh, Jahangir, you know, the government is saying that when... 2G was allotted and not auctioned during A. Raja's time. The CAG said that a 1.76 lakh crore loss had been incurred by the exchequer. Now, when those licenses have been cancelled by the Supreme Court and auctioned, the government's raised just 9,400 crore. How you know, fair, look, look, how, how let's fair keep, is the government keep the numbers the aside. Keep the numbers aside yeah. for 10 seconds. The first thing, if Hilal Nantavi thinks that the Congress was not happy that the auction flopped, then I don't know why Kapil Sibyl was smirking you know, when he said, look, this the policy is best left to us. Yeah. Ha -ha. The point is that the government is trying to use the failure to protect its right to set the price of spectrum. But what we've seen over 10, 12 years, whether the BJP is in power, the Congress is in power, that every government has given the spectrum of India away at low cost to corporates who have made huge profits from it. Mm -hmm. Now, the CAG was wrong in estimating the cost at 1.76 lakhs crores. NewsX was the first channel to point that out, but that's a mathematical question. It overestimated the loss, but there's still a massive loss. And I don't want to fixate on whether it was 1.76 lakhs crores. Probably was not. And probably the spectrum should not have been priced quite as high as it was. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter remains that the Congress party, the government cannot use the failure and try to attack that figure by trying to hide the fact and try to justify the fact that it never bothered to auction the spectrum. In fact, Ravi, this is what the government appears to be uh, defending mm -hmm. the policy to a lot and not auction, saying that when 3G, for example, was auctioned in 2010, it raised lots of revenue, 67,000 crore, but Kapil Sibyl asked, what did the consumer get out of that? There's no rollout. So the question is, a lot or auction, what do you think? Well, auction is the most uh, transparent way to go, but designing an auction is a very difficult thing to do. If you look at the history of spectrum auctions all over the world for the last, uh, let's say, 17, 18 years, either they're spectacular successes where they 
uh, end up getting so much money and then the operators overbid and then they not, don't have enough money to invest in their infrastructure. Mm -hmm. All the Sabotage the 2G auction. There's definitely a lot of talk going on about a cartel which existed between the government and the telecos. Mm -hmm. Naturally, it is but natural to celebrate the failure. The government might have in all probabilities built up the so-called mm -hmm. cartel. But naturally, we, we have heard what uh, Mr. Sunil Mittal told about a week ago that uh, the whole process is going to end within a single day. How was he supposed to know all this? Yeah, if he was really right. It ended in yeah, two he days. Was very right and probably they had diplomatic dinners. <laughs> All right, Hilal from the Congress, let's look at the BJP's arguments today. Argument number one, this week only 22 licenses were auctioned, not 122, it raised 9,400 crore. Therefore, when the CAG says that, uh, that the arbitrary allotment of 102 licenses led to a loss of 1.76 lakh crore, the CAG could have been right. That's what the BJP is saying. Th these are, these are just uh, uh, what should I what what should I say is speculation. Uh, nothing no, more no, than no. that it's because BJP has right from day yeah, one it has so been it has been attacking. The BJP has been put out the figures that look at Hilal, Hilal, the BJP is saying that if 22 auctions have raised 9,400 crore, then perhaps 122 licensed auctions could have raised 1.76 lakh or a very high figure. Yeah, That's but look, the there's point. something there's something important here. The CAG never said that the 2008 auction cost 1.76 lakh crore. Look, the number is not so important. What the CAG said is that the 2008 sale lost the government up to about 1 lakh crores. The other 76 happened in the years before when the BJP was in power. The Congress giveaway in 2008 lost the exchequer about 1 lakh crores. And it said that's the maximum figure. You know, fixating on this figure is not the issue. The issue is the CAG was right in that it should be auctioned. The CAG was right that the goal of giving Spectrum should be raising money for this government, for this country, not to allow telecom companies to make massive earnings and profits and buy companies in Africa and Australia. They should do that, but after paying a fair price for Spectrum. And that is what the government is still trying to run away from and hide by fixating on this 1.76 lakh for a figure. Hey, I'll respond to that then. Yes, uh, this is what this is what Congress has been saying. That CAG has sensationalized the thing. Like if, he, if they say that there was something wrong with the policy and the, it should have gone for the auction, it should have earned more money. That is a different thing. Once you are saying that there is a loss of 1.76 lakh crore and Congress is stands uh, uh, guilty for the loss of this much of amount, this is just centralization and, and uh, you are trying to accuse a political party. And that is definitely not correct. And All this right. is what okay. has been... Uh, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's look at the BJP's argument number two today. They said that, look, the CAG's figure was based on the calculation of market yes. conditions in 2007-08. And that I, I the market saying, was robust. The, figure, the market is not the robust. The figure now. doesn't matter to Jar. The figure is huge. It could be 1 lakh crores. It could be 50,000 crores. The CAG has just said it could be up to 1 lakh crores. But how much is the BJP but right to think that they would have I would like had to market this. conditions been better now? They it, would have raised that's, more you know, than what they raised All the week. political parties want to lead you down this unending, never-ending discussion on the figure because it will not get you to the truth and the real crucial fact of the matter, which is that spectrum should be auctioned which is that it should not be given away at low prices, which is that every party is culpable in the giving away of spectrum at low prices. And even today, games are being played because it's a very complex issue. It's easy to fool the public. It's easy to fool all of us here at this table. The issue is that we need more telecom companies in India which can increase competition in India. We need to raise more money from spectrum for the government's coffers. I mean, in a few weeks' time, we're going to be putting a food bill in front of parliament that could cost one lakh crores a year. Where are we going to get the money to pay for these things which are desperately needed? Better to sell Spectrum at a profit and to give the poor in this country food to eat. Dr. Bhatt. I just wanted to answer that portion that you asked about BJP saying that if it would have been mm. auctioned in 2008, we would really have been making merry and not would have been sulking as we are doing today. Mm. Because first, the market in 2008 was totally different as it is in 2012. There we had a great inflow of investments then. Secondly, the teledensity then was 240 millions, I gather, but today it's almost uh, touching the billionth mark. Yeah. So naturally the competition has died down. And thirdly, 2G is naturally different from 3G and 4G. No, when you said so, that there was a cartel 
the way you were right is that the one thing the cartel has succeeded in doing is not allowing new telecom companies to operate in India. We had five or six telecom companies ten years ago. We have five or six telecom companies in any real sense today. That is the tragedy of the telecom sector. The tragedy of the government and the money is that we have still not raised as much money as we could have from the sphere of spectrum. And the tragedy is not academic. It is about our inability to put forward things like the food bill, like the right to education bill, because the government turns on and says, we don't have enough money. And then you continue to sell spectrum at low prices, you continue to give coal mines away for free, and you make these elaborate arguments that can confuse the public. This is the crime that is being carried out on the people of India. Fahad Alim from the CPM, what do you say? Because we're hearing different things from the Congress, the BJP, the CAG, and of course experts. What is, where do you stand on this? No, I would fully agree with the gentleman who said that this is not an issue of figures, because the CAG figure is a presumptive figure. The second thing is that you have the uh, former cabinet secretary submitting to the JPC that he had uh, forwarded a note to the prime minister's office that 35,000 crores extra could be made on the 2G uh, auction issue. So the figures are different. Definitely you have uh, these two figures which are there on the table. But uh, having said that, one must also keep in mind that uh, 2G uh, happened in 2008, 3G happened in 2010. In 2012, this is the first time where globally we have 3.1% reduction in the sales of mobile phones. So this is very different from 2000 of 2008. Right. Now in 2012, the users of the 2G spectrum in India will be those people who are, who are buying 1200 rupees worth phones. The, the 3G users are the, those people who have the 5000 rupee plus mobile phones. Mm -hmm. So once again we see that this uh, end user, the, the person who, who, who is the common man, closer to the common man, is the person who is going to suffer from this entire process. Four minutes left, so in the final round, uh, let's look ahead. Dr. Patra, first of all, the government has announced today that they'll have an uh, auction for the remaining 2G spectrum by March next year. Um, what should the government do? Lower the base price, perhaps? I believe they'll probably lower the base, base price because that's the only option left with them. But the issue is they have lost valuable time and much more valuable money. Had they done the same thing, they would have gone for auction rather than the first come first serve basis in 2008 itself. Uh -huh. uh, all this drama would have been saved. Right. But, but at the end, my closing statement would be yeah. a fantastic statement yeah. that I read in the social network today and that is uh, mangoes may vote for the outdated system, uh -huh. but the rich of this country will not pay for an outdated spectrum. All right. <laughs> Jahangir, what's the best way forward now? I mean, let's first understand something. Today the Congress was not cooking a snook at the BJP or the left. It was cooking a snook at the CAG and at the Supreme Court, and let there be no doubt about that. It wants these two forces to withdraw because they're intruding into what the government has enjoyed for so long, a monopoly on setting policy for very expensive national assets. And the problem is that they've mismanaged that responsibility. They have given away national assets for free or at very low prices, and their track record does not, should, we should not allow them to have a monopoly of control over the setting of prices. If Kapil Sibal is saying that, the fact is that he may be theoretically correct, but the practice of the last 65 years proves him to be wrong. All right. The issue uh, is that India needs new telecom companies, more players in the market, and it needs to allow an honest, a better structured auction that will allow some sort of free discovery of spectrum, and then let's stop splitting hairs. Fahad Alim from the CPM, we've got 20 seconds. Uh, what's your suggestion to the government, the way forward? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, uh, 